Well, normally it's difficult for me to record uh, commentaries during the day because the there's a road right outside my office window, but it is Christmas Day and so there is very little traffic, thankfully. So I decided to today to pick probably my favourite of the uh, five of the kinds I've still got in the uh, in the backlog, and it is five capybaras. Um, now I think I've seen uh, Scooty go for this before on one of his videos, but I, I went back and searched his channel, I couldn't find it. I don't think he got it in the end, I'm not sure, but in any case, here I decide to go for the, the um, multiple mosquito level ups, I think I go for the third one as well just on the off chance that I get two capybaras on turn three, but instead we only get one. And capybara is just, <laughs> it's such a fun pet, even though at times it can feel ridiculously strong. Um, I think that's really only when you high roll and get a, a whole bunch of them right at the beginning. So here a freeze double pill, partly in, in uh, anticipation of finding um, blobfish but also just in case I see a spider so I can pill it and get uh, p potentially get another capybara. The fact that the the cap the the pets that come out of the spider are only 2-2 two, two stats doesn't really matter too much because as soon as you start snowballing and finding more capybaras you're going to be combining into pets that have much much higher stats and here we get the next one. So I'll roll once and Sell the duckling for a little bit more HP and uh, pill the flamingo and we get blobfish and really the way this works is just you got to level up the capybaras as soon as possible well I suppose there's multiple ways you could do this you know you could do it with all of the other normal scaling methods you could do 50-50 um, shop you could do um, husky uh, t-rex and I'll show some clips at the end showing um, other runs at, that I had that got very, very close. Um, but I think I really would prefer to get this with the majority of the scaling done by the capybaras themselves. Uh, obviously, I don't I don't know if it would be possible to do it on, using only capybara <laughs> scaling. I mean, you can see here on turn six, we've already had three turns of the giraffe, you know, doing work. And I get double snail. I don't know if it's worth freezing them here, um, because you you would think most of the time you would win with this team on turn on turn six, but um, we go against this uh, frilled dragon dodo team, and uh, frilled dragon to me still seems ridiculous for a tier one, um, and it actually helps us out a bit by, and we get a third snail in the shop which is uh, quite uh, quite lucky. And I think I hear I was deciding whether or not I should sell the mosquito or sell the giraffe. And I think I'd rather keep the mosquito and, and maintain some some more uh, more hearts for the future. But we get a huge buff from the uh, from the snails. And um, yeah, I guess the uh, Capybara scaling only is kind of out of the window when you've got triple level up from the snail. And we go against another sort of genetic mid-game team, which is triple tier, triple massive tier one, and uh, a couple of other pets. And here I get clown, double clownfish on the roll. So here we can sell snail, uh, sell mosquito, buy sell crow, and then get double clownfish in before leveling up the main cappy. We get Poodle, which is obviously completely useless. I, to be honest, I should probably, in a lot of these packs where I'm mostly going for five of us, but sometimes going for other things, I should probably just remove Poodle because obviously it's useless when you're going for triples, quadruples, and uh, fives. So here, the double cappy roll plus the blobfish is just uh, spectacular. And uh, we should win this one easily. You definitely find that similar to the dromedary uh, run, that once you get the snowball going, you're you're starting to to you know win a lot of games in the mid to early late game, and then 
it wrap it like falls off a cliff. So here I'm gonna level up the second capybara and get a huge oh no uh, sorry I sold one of the clownfish so it's not quite it's not a huge buff but it is a decent buff and there as there is another crow I'm not sure if I okay I'm gonna am I gonna switch to cat I can't remember there's been so many capybara runs um over the last few months that I can't remember which uh, which one this is and I freeze the pepper one of the problems I have with a lot of these runs is that I I greed out and I go for the stats over the equipment too much so it's very very important to get all the capybaras having pepper or uh, lemon or um, melon as soon as possible because generally your sort of biggest unit is not going to be as big as uh, you know the teams that have buffalo and um, uh, bison, llama, etc. Jellyfish. Here I decide to give the one of the weaker ones cheese as well. Uh, I've, I, I don't think I have steak in the pack. We're going against a, a kind of a strange four squad here, and this is where the uh, the the pepper comes in very handy to get the, to eke out the draw. And. I think here I actually just forget about the cat, so I bought the cat but didn't buy any food. But now this is where the capybara really shines, it's when you get the tamarind. And I can't buy it this turn, but next turn I'll be able to sell the, ta the level 2 tamarind into the cappy. And another very common com composition you can go against in these, uh, these later earlier late rounds and the, the uh, I get I scrape the one HP win against the the hedgehog toad team now that's uh, made a huge difference to the the stats of uh, of that capybara so we go from having sort of a a, a, a wide scaled um, you know mid-range team to having a, a proper carry and here I get the pepper and uh, uh, freeze up the uh, the hot dog, but the pepper is actually gonna get the job done. So that was a like. There's been so many games where I've had full team of like melon and uh, pepper and still lost. But turn twelve, getting it done early was the way to go. So here you can see one of the the fails. A lot bigger units, but it's turn sixteen, which is you know. The, wor the, the value of each stat is so low compared to what it was on turn 12. And we get, um, you know, you're going against 50-50 Leopard, 50-50 Octo over and over again. And we just uh, get rolled. And I, don't, I can't remember, that one was quite a while ago, I think. Here's another one. Uh, this one's turn 13, so... Um, but unfortunately I'm only on 7 wins by this point, so um, it's going to go really late. And this game actually only goes to 8 wins, but I wanted to include it because I actually go against this uh, nightmare team from Cotty, who was uh, streaming at the time doing um, the A to Z uh, ribbons. And this was, I think this was his A to Z tapir uh, build, which was just an absolute nightmare. So. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitch uh, channel in the description. And here's another one where I'm on 9, turn 15. I think uh, I think this one might have been a bit of T-Rex scaling involved. Um, I don't know, this one I rolled down looking for another piece of equipment and I only ended up buying bacon, so that was a bit unfortunate. But as you'll see, it didn't really matter because we go against another nightmare combo which is the the leech camel that's been scaling all game and it's uh, stats are enormous with the koala as well but I despite all those fails it did finally pay off and we got the five capybara win